for the first time ever, or rather, for the second time ever, the Triple Threat Podcast is all in one room. Hello everybody, thanks for joining us, it's Matt here, coming to you live from Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia. How are you doing? You're looking good, you're looking good, doing well, didn't have too much uh, chocolate cake at uh, Thanksgiving, or uh, pie at Christmas? That's good, that's good. I uh, I said we were together for the second time ever, but we, we grew up together, so we... Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the giggles are on. Uh, I should have done that. I don't know why I did you got that. Got the gigs. What's up, giggles? Got a bad case of the gigs. Alex, why are you giggling, man? Because Will wanted us to just leave the room, which actually. Because you sound doing. like you're you're talking by yourself. Yeah, so it's like, just, let's just, let's just, let's just go. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, the second time we've ever been in the room together. In our uh, lives. Recording a podcast. Yeah. However, for, for many a year, we dwelt in the same uh, household. We even oh. slept in the same room. No, that's not. We slept in the same bed. No. I slept in your room. I like, slept like in we, the we, same bed as well. So we, yeah. A bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. So you, Alex, you and I shared a room. Yeah. I've shared... Did we share a room? We have bunk beds. We, we shared... Yeah, we shared a room when you were a kid. Yeah. Because it was... When you were a kid. When you were a... Uh, I was a young word. Holy ish! Not bad this yoga ball, right? Uh, Will's on the yoga ball. Random Lion King reference. Little little Puma. Yeah. Well, you and I never shared a room because you were the oldest, so that's the youngest. That's me. And you had horrible gas. I don't want to. I want to deal with it. Come on, that's not true. So you both both dealt with me falling off the top bunk of the bed. Oh, were you ever falling off? Uh, I fell off. Many times. <laughs> like like in your sleep? <laughs> yeah, I didn't like. Gosh. It's not suicide in his, dive like running <laughs> off the cliff. Not in his way. Accident. Like Chris Benoit, R.I.P. Question mark. Holy wow. cow, dude! Wow. Why? Maybe, why is that the guy you keep bringing up? Why? Uh, maybe ask him why. All right. Am I the villain? No. All right. Let's hey. get out, let's get out the Ouija board. <laughs> oh, let's no. commune. Let's commune. There has to be a podcast that's uh, that has a Ouija board in it. Oh, okay. No, we have one right here, guys. Just no. a sec. I'm gonna just uh, no, bring it out. No. Oh, guys, are, who, who's moving it? Why are you moving uh, uh, C- it? Ask it a question. H R. <laughs> guys, this is cra- I know this is crazy. See, Matt, that's the theater of radio. You can do <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's the British spelling. Yeah, Alex, what are you drinking? It looks like soup, but I feel like that's Kathy. Uh, that's Kathy with coconut oil. Yeah, out of my, what, what, what my Lion King oil? mug. Mom and coconut. Dad don't know whose uh, mug is whose. Whose mug is who? Oh, you have Robin Hood, the animated Robin Hood, a Disney classic, like which I. Or uh, the only thing I remember from that movie is someone the arrow throwing no throwing oh. change into the cup of a poor and man bouncing it out, and bouncing yeah. out all the other uh, change what? and taking it. Yeah. Pretty yeah. sure that's that was a great the, rich guy. Yeah, that was the was the sheriff from Nottingham. Sheriff from Nottingham, yeah. yeah. I got the Lion King, so clearly mine is the best mug. Yeah, I remember from Robin Hood the uh, he shoots an arrow and then he shoots an arrow through, through that, that arrow. arrow. Yes, that's which, true. Uh, yeah, that's which sure, I can do that. I have I have 101 Dalmatians. Uh, you don't uh, enjoy a lot of hot beverages. Yeah, you shouldn't ad- uh, adopt so many pets. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the mug. Oh, sorry, the yeah, it's the mug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh. yeah. I'm very obsessively uh, dumb. Whose freaking man. idea was it at Disney to be like, you know, we drew a bunch of dogs. Let's just have a bunch of dogs in a movie, live action. With Glenn Close as Krilla today. As Albert Nobbs. And Albert. Albert <laughs> Nobbs. The Alfred Hobbs. Uh, wasn't she one of the, he one of the nasty boys, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back Boss. in 91, baby. Boss Gags. Boss Gags, that's a person, right? Boss Gags a person, yeah. He's a, um, a singer. All right. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Got a little, the coconut oil allowed yeah. the absorption. <laughs> well, the coconut oil got pretty caffeine. big in 2015. This is our year review uh, podcast. 2014, 2015. So you guys remember January 1st, Obama declared everyone to have coconut oil. Everybody have uh, coconut oil in their coffee. And, uh, so your Obama keep... sounds a bit like Zoidberg. Yeah, oh. there's a bit of Zoidberg or George right there. Yeah. Oh, you should drink the coffee now, huh? <laughs> Well, why are you zipping during a podcast? You, Sorry. Just, you went to go pick up something you could zip. Give it to I me. had to leave the room for a reason. I'm handed. I had, when I wanted to sneak out, I had to use the little boys' room. Use the little podcaster's room. <laughs> I had to go, but I stayed instead. <laughs> What's that face mean? See, now I can look at you. I, that, I think that Alex's sh- face is pretty expressive. I'm not going to smack you. Smack that. So what's that oh, shirt? Oh, oh, oh. The sword? Right. The S word? Uh, yeah, it's a band from Austin. I talked about going to the show. This is where I talked to the girl from MetalTitans.com. Ah, very good. Represent. I don't know what any of that means. Yeah, year in review. So January Statue 1st. Statue of Rob Gronkowski is a metal tight end. January uh, 1st was the uh, winter classic between 
Which one was it? It's Washington year? and I think Zambia this year. Zambia, right? It was Namib- it was Washington, Namibia, Namibia, Namibia and uh, Fiji. Um, who the heck was it? It was Washington and Chicago. Ch- here's the Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Man. Washington versus Chewbacca. Bunch of Washington Wookies against the uh, Chicago. And the Wookies. That was, I remember Washington. Chipmunks. Washington let the Wookies win. I'm looking forward to the uh, this year's Winter Classic in Foxborough. Foxborough, Massachusetts. Massive two uh, <laughs> cities. Twas the best of times. Twas the, the worst, worst of times. times. Twas the worst year of times. Make up your city. mind, Charles Dickens. It That's can't be both. Best of times, the worst year of times. Pretty good Massachusetts joke, I thought. Oh wait, it's a tale of two cities. Worcester so times, got it. Yeah, see there you if go. If you say brain train, then I would really be with you. I'm going to say Denim. 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 The Brookline of times. Denim. Denim. Hey, you guys went to Massachusetts this year. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we uh, we went um, we went around the world today yeah, this year. I've okay. been around the world. Mostly I, Alex. I can't find my baby. Yeah, Alex, Alex covered the most distance. Poor baby, maybe the dingo ate your baby. Time calls? Anybody? No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, thank you. And then that was based off of uh, some random Meryl Street movie. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I I got the most air miles, the frequent flyer miles, and the frequent did you did you train use miles sort of, from. Uh, um, Frequent pilot point system while you're out there? No. Avion points on my visa. That's okay. about it. I mean, Avion points, use, I, don't, I don't know if I believe in Avion points. Use it. I do. They exist. It's, they're I, not like guys, Santa Claus. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like my, I'm a lot, I can think what I think, right? But you, the, but you don't believe in them in what, in what way? Alex, could you be farther away from the microphone? <laughs> uh, yeah, I could. Alex is down. podcasting from downtown. From I feel like downtown. I project downtown. well enough on my own. They'll probably just like, <laughs> <laughs> We're watching the levels. We're watching the We're watching levels. The level. um, I'm going to sh- shift gears here a little bit. You're wearing a New Jersey. Not I'm the wearing state. a New Jersey. The <laughs> Devils. I got a... Guess what team? I don't know. I can't name one person on New Jersey Devils. Give me two minutes. Um, Daniel Zubris. Oh, oh, oh. Corey oh, Schneider. Oh, Corey Schneider. Uh, yeah, I was getting Yarmory Yager plays for, plays for the Florida Panthers. Panthers yeah, yeah, good. We're just going to name Corey Connor yeah. plays for SC. But. Okay, but you, if you have a new sports. I have a new, 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 new. Not new, new. New, no, no. New, no, no. Uh, wearing your jersey before you give your father's gift. Uh, yes, I have a new Jillian Outerfield jersey. Nice. So, why, so you had to wait. I had, to well, wear. yeah, about. A month. Dad, first of all, Dad thought we bought the jerseys in Foxborough. I was like, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> yeah, and totally. There weren't a lot of options. I don't think they had. No, I was tra- I was going to buy a Edelman jersey, but they didn't have any stitched ones, and I went with a non stitched one. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we bought it for Dad probably a month and a half ago, and then it came in the mail, and then I was like, crap, I can't wear this jersey because it'll give us away, which Dad yeah. said, you could have worn that jersey every week, and I never would have noticed. So, I don't know. So I got uh, Edelfield, and Dad has uh, the Patriot, Patriots sack leader, Chandler Jones. You can get a sack leader. Chandler Cajones. Chandler Cajones. He leads the league in sacks. Yeah, I do like that we... Uh, you could have just been like, oh, I bought this online, too. Nothing would have said. I did buy it online. <laughs> you, you, you didn't have to be like, oh, I didn't buy any other jersey. I swear it. Yeah, you really could have. That's, that's okay. It's better safe than sorry. You think pretty much in every situation. Else? What situation have you been like? I'd rather not be safe, and I'd rather just be sorry. Uh, when, you're, when you're playing no board regrets, games, buddy. no regrets. Sorry, back to the start. It's the game. Sorry, that's true. I thought you were apologizing. Is it water on the knee? No, back I, to I, start. I never Wait, apologize. I so, Alex, you got the the Julian Edelfield uh, jersey. Do you have a nice other piece of? Julian Edelman uh, clothing that can go with it? Nope. No, nope. Sure, sure <laughs> don't. <laughs> That's coming, and it has been pr- purchased. So, I Will did, and I... All, all I have is a printed p- a picture that says, this will be coming, there's no proof of purchase, there's no receipt, there's nothing. Uh, I'll show you the email. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I, I, I'll I, use Sharpie on my screen to black out where I... Uh, like a government how much release document that's just blacked out everything. So, yeah, Will and I went in on a Julian Edelfield hat... From his website, it's one of a kind. It was the only thing I wanted for Christmas. Only so thing I wanted for Christmas, it. and he kind of didn't get it because uh, it's forthcoming. Yeah, but he's he'll he'll it'll be fine. He'll get it. But yeah. they they do a thing where they don't ship anything out until they have a, enough orders, right? You're yeah, saying, but I feel like at Christmas time, Christmas time you would have it. Like, am I right? not going to get it till June? Probably. I really hope. I mean, I hope that people are like, oh, he's back to the playoffs. Maybe you'll get pass. it by Passover. 
I'm thinking, what's the next Jewish high holiday? I don't know what Passover is. It's uh, it's Easter. Easter. Okay. Yeah. Right e- on Easter. Easter is set at the same time Passover is. Okay. So Easter is technically so get set by the moon because Passover is very much moon dependent. Interesting. Ah, right? yeah. You look up the moon, you say, what's that good for? And you think, you know what? Absolutely nothing. My brother's in Israel. <laughs> That's it. That's what it's good for. Kayala. We had a full I moon on Christmas. For, for, it won't happen again for 30 years. It's true. Yeah. That was 1978. That was 30 years ago. Nope. Nope. On this very night. 37. That was 30 years ago. I saw a tweet once that was like... 30 hey, years ago. I was like, hey yeah. man, the jerk store called. The jerk store burned down 10 years ago tonight. <laughs> 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 I should have said that one while I didn't get your mouth. Get a mouthful of beer. <laughs> yeah, swing a beer for the worker man. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I like that. So yeah, so we'll get my Julian Edelman snap back at some point. No, you won't. We, we, can't, we canceled it. We canceled it. Yeah. We'll perfectly match, then I get my Julian Edelfield Puma trainers and my Julian Edelfield. Yeah, how do you do How do you do Body yesterday, suit, by the so way. I can just put that on and look exactly like him. What? Oh, that's gross. What, how did he do yesterday? Uh, he did not play. He yeah, is uh, out with the broken foot. Oh, is he going to be a... Your self is jaded. How is, uh, how is Ryan Mallett, our cast-off, playing for you? Great. So there's a number of quarterbacks great. that, that do have the potential to play for, for every team. Brandon Whedon has started now for the Browns, the uh, Texans, and Texas. the Cowboys. And, How about uh, those? Them's. Yeah, now we have Mallet, who's played for the Patriots, the Texans, uh, and, and the Ravens. Ravens yeah. I thought there was someone in between, but probably not. So We'll see how he does. JC apparently didn't uh, get the JD, so uh, <laughs> we'll see what Jimmy happens. Jimmy Clausen. Didn't get the job done. Just tank, guys. Job tank, done. tank, tank, tank. Do you, you can, I don't think you guys can get the number one pick, though, because I think it's between uh, no, we won't the Tennessee one. tight ends and the uh, Cleveland bro outs. Oh, the Browns. You guys saw that Browns jersey, right, with the quarterbacks crossed out in the oh, back? Yeah. It's absurd. It's like a list that's like 25 long. What, since 99 when they started? I think it's since 02 or something. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it's not even that recently. I don't even know who the first yeah. player on that uh, when, thing When did is. they come back? They came back in 99. Came back in 99, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't. So I don't know if it's every quarterback. Let's see if you can read that. off everybody's name on there. Can couch. Uh, Spurgeon Wynn played a game for them. Spurgeon Wynn, one of the Brady uh, six. Brady six. One of the six quarterbacks selected for Tom Brady in the 2000 uh, NFL draft. So Tim Couch was a starter. Spurgeon Wynn was the third uh, QB, and ended up having to come in and not not doing so well. So it's funny how many of those guys actually started games. Giovanni Carmazzi. Well, a couple of them were pretty good, actually. Who's Mark, the guy Mark that, Bolger was probably the best one. Who's the guy at Michigan who uh, ended up playing a couple Drew of games? Like, like, yeah, yeah, there you go. Drew Hansen. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, so we'll, for let's, let's read it. Can you describe this jersey oh, real boy, quick? This is going to go bad. Yeah, so it's originally a Tim Couch jersey. Tim Couch being the number one overall pick uh, by the Browns when they first came out in 1999. And from there, there are just additional, uh, I don't know if it's pieces of paper uh, or name plates. No, they're handwritten, I guess. Season ticket envelopes. Season ticket envelopes. Season ticket <laughs> envelopes, yeah. So we have Couch. From Couch, we have Detmer, Wen being Spurgeon Wynn, Peterson, Holcomb, McCown, Jeff Garcia, Trent Delfer, Fry, Dorsey, Gradkowski, whose first name is Bruce. Bra- Bruce? Bruce, Bruce Gradkowski is the backup for the Steelers? Who yeah, came he in? was. Yeah. He was, yeah. At least uh, was. Anderson, Brady Quinn, Jake DeLome, Wallace, uh, McCoy, and Whedon. And from Whedon, we now have uh, another McCown and uh, Johnny Manziel, and I believe someone else started a game. Oh, oh like Austin a, Davis. Yeah. Austin yeah, Davis. Gosh. So that's one, two, three, Ravens four, five, him. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen starting quarterbacks in the last 16, 15 to sixteen years, I want to say. So teams like the Packers and Patriots have had two. Well, I uh, have had two. Well, the Packers might not be a great example because Rodgers got hurt and so did Tom. So Also, the lady wearing this jersey is wearing a beret. Yeah, so the Packers uh, had... I think that's worth mentioning. Packers have had, uh, since then, have had Favre, uh, Rodgers, Scott Tolzien, Matt Flynn, and I think maybe Seneca Wallace uh, or like someone the guy, in there. Like the game maker from the first Hunger Games movie? Yes. <laughs> the guy from, I would like to see you know the, the guy that, from American that, that, that pose on like when they uh, put their hands in their jersey. They, I'm doing it now. You can't see it, but they put their hands kind of like in the neck of their jerseys. Just him doing that with his little crazy wave beard. Oh like, yeah, like, <laughs> fresh to death on the sidelines. <laughs> so distracting. Photo shoot fresh, looking like well. Mm-hmm. That's they call the paparazzi. paparazzi on myself. And the Pats that. have only had what's that? Uh, what's his name? 
Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe, <laughs> Tom Brady, uh, Matt Castle, and I feel like... And, our, and uh, uh, Jim, Jimmy started a game last year. Garoppolo started a game last oh, year? Did. Didn't he start against he the Bills? No. no, he didn't Brian start Brady it. probably played the yeah. first half and then he came in. So I think, I think, I think he took, the first started. half he took a knee. Brian Hoyer hasn't started. <laughs> Like that. That'd be good. That'd be good. Did yeah. you see what Kirk Cousins did on the Saturday night Thursday night football? Uh, I did not. So it's thir- there's 30 seconds left in the first half. Okay. Night 16 to 10 for the Washington Redskins, and so you're like, ah, maybe they'll take a knee, but no, they're on the 39 yard line. Three passing plays. All of a sudden, they're on the, the Philadelphia five, six. Yeah. With six seconds left. So he's either going to take the snap, throw it for a quick uh, touchdown potential, or spike it. So they can kick a field goal because they're out of timeouts. Takes a snap, takes a knee, runs out the half. Just accidentally <laughs> took a knee, had no timeouts to do anything. Everyone was just like, "Well, at least they still won the game." If they did that and lost, yeah, yeah. well, no, that'd be impossible. I think it'd be impossible. I still want to say that like, lost. I saw and I saw on Twitter afterwards. Someone said, "You spiked that." Yeah, the big catchphrase now is Kirk Cousins. You like that because he came out. All oh yeah, <laughs> you like that? You like that? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. So they had a graphic, too, that 10 of the quarterbacks, well, I guess we'll say 8 of the quarterbacks starting yesterday and the 2 starting tonight, out of those 10 quarterbacks, no one started the first first game of the season. Because tonight we have A.J. McCarron against, of course. against Brock Osweiler. My buddy from Alabama Mama. Alabama Mama, the first NFL quarterback from Bama to win a game since 1987. Wow. Good year. That was a good year. Good year blip. Disagree. I mean, it was... Yeah. Disagree. Next year, a bit better. A bit stronger year next what, year. What movie came out of that? Was that what was the best... That was um, Living Daylights, right? 87? Uh, and I think License yeah. to Kill was 89? Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah. Got a license to kill. Is that it? Is that the song? That's it. I what was the best... Matt's pick- he is as far away from the mic as I am, by the way. Um, just, yeah, but... As he leans into him. He's got the... Yeah, of, but I don't know. know. <laughs> I know. He's got his Bo's uh, R2-D2. Bo's knows. Very nice. Well, tell everyone about your record. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of getting exactly what you wanted Which for fall, Christmas. We all saw Star Wars uh, again on, on Saturday, Saturday in, so, in three dimensions. We saw it. Well, we, went, we went to go see it hmm. in the IMAX with Emily. And, no wife. And nobody else was in the theater. No wife. Matt yeah. says they're not. And uh, so we were, first off, we were in the third row. And we got tickets. And as soon as we go to the tickets, they say, just so you know. And I think this is exactly how she put it. The we lost the ability. We lost the ability to show 3D. As though they, in a bet, they wagered their ability to show 3D at IMAX, and they lost that. Over yes. Against yeah. two tickets to the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> so, which was fine, because like, was anybody wanting to see that in 3D? I think when you charge somebody 3D prices, yeah. you should give them a... a I saw it twice back. in 3D already. And also, I, I, but I do I think IMAX charges the, the same price. I've wondered about that too. If I'm actually the same as 3D, I wanted to see the numbers. Would it be great to be like we've lost the ability to show the film in 3D? We'll give you these glasses because the numbers are coming, so you can watch the the pre everything, right? The preamble, show the numbers, and then the actual movie itself's going to be 3D. So, so that was, your, that was your first time seeing it in two dimensions. Yes. And yeah. Did you oh, notice the difference? Are there any uh, amazingly 3D things in it? The laser blast was kind of cool in 3D when he walks by it and it's hovering there. Yeah. Well, that was neat. Oh, like, that'd three, be perfect for it. I, yeah, so it's it's neat, but for me, I, I don't uh, need it. I think it's a tremendous amount of effort from Hollywood to shoot a movie in 3D and then have everybody have these 3D glasses that they got to throw away and, you know, reuse. Inflates the box office numbers. Yeah, but they don't... It does inflate the box office numbers and it also makes it harder to pirate, I thought. They showed that in 3D? Show what? Sorry, they shoot it in three D. I think they had. I think they did. I don't think it was post. No, uh, it had to have been post. Post whatever. I think it had to have been because they wouldn't. They would have made a bigger deal if it was shot in three D. Uh, they pretty. They got I mean, it under the radar because it, it was kind of. It, it's out in like the end of two thousand fifteen. Kind of that time where it's like any sort of like fantasy film at all. Kind of needs to be. It's going to be out in three D. I think it's just post conversion is getting a little bit better. Was Mission Impossible Five is available in three D? Or four? I don't remember that. Four. Uh, Ghost Pros was. Ghost Pros yeah, was available. Way, in th- I think. Yeah. I, think I really wish I saw that in IMAX. Because Ian keeps telling me. Oxford your coffee not in it, but yeah, it's good at the end. Just lukewarm. Um, Ian told me about the, the <coughs> how cool Ghost Protocol was in IMAX when he goes to the window at the Burj Al Arab. Yeah. And then it just kind of goes from uh, sixty nine to. Oh yeah. 
The Wiz Khalifa. What'd you call the Burj Al Arab? What's that? That's a different. Oh, the Al Arab's the hotel. Yeah. Sorry, the, the Khalifa. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I was the one that Tom Cruise. Um, Damn right. Climbed by itself. Very rare. God bless you. <coughs> yeah, that's the same well. Thing. I don't ever see on the podcast because I can mute it, but I can't mute it when you guys are here. He's good. I should dead air. It'll sound like somebody swore. <laughs> uh, what? I muted it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that is the dead air. air I was it. making sure. Oh my god. Everyone turned off the podcast. That's okay. And that middle. But no, so, he said that he said that it opens up when he does the when yeah. he goes to the window at the Burj Al Khalifa. That's that looks cool. really awesome. It looked really sweet. But yeah, this was uh, I wanted to see it in IMAX just because I was just like, give me the boom, give me the movie. Just Right there, oh, and it was, was too close. It was we were way too close. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was, I could see pixels. That was one thing that kind of bummed me out. Actually, yes, I could I see could that see too. Pix- like when I saw the stars, I was like, "Oh, that stars made up of like six pixels." Like, <laughs> yeah. I just find even in, in any IMAX, I can't. Get, I have to turn well, my head. Well, it was during the opening crawl in Star Wars. I had to fully like look all the way to the left. And turn my head like 180 degrees. Well, 180 degrees would be ridiculous. Just, <laughs> turn your head 360 degrees. You got the desk. <laughs> that's why I do. Hi, Emily. Yeah. I'm William. Good to see yeah. you. Bazoo uh, Zoo was in there. Yeah. Sure, which Emily found a bit distracting. Yeah. So, but otherwise, she and she enjoyed it. And one of the things I was excited about was because I got a gift on Christmas. Right. That's that was something yes. I was I was yes. pretty jazzed about for a while. They were yes, flute. I want to say that I can't believe you got this. By the way, I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't Why? in the room. Because you were jealous, or you just didn't think I wanted it? No, jealous I because I won. <laughs> you used up all the glue on purpose. Uh, Not a finger. Christmas story. Uh, Christmas story. Mm. Uh, no, I was. Um, well, it's like it's also like jealous of what? The toy. It's not cheap. I don't know. You bought it. Yeah, it's uh, so I wanted to get this this uh, BB-8 uh, droid, and uh, it, it's what do I call it? Called app enabled essentially. It's and it was one of those things from the Star Wars. It was like it was like the coolest kind of like you kind of have to go. It's the Fermi of the twenty fifteen. Oh, it's the Buzz. Yeah. It's the Buzz Lightyear of twenty. So essentially, it, it's a little dude, a uh, little BB-8, and BB-8's a little ball that rolls around. He's it's an a, astro. If you're listening to this yeah. and you don't know who or what BB-8 is, you can yeah, you not know? be your friend. So he um, essentially the little thing does two different things. It, you can drive it like like a remote control ball, I guess. Or you can uh, press the button. He just goes out patrolling and looks things around and bips around and that sort of thing. But runs off. And I've, se- I've seen the thing in like on videos, like in uh, in in action before. But to me, it's crazy how uh, much personality this little yeah toy robot has. It's 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 nuts. I mean, bleeps and bloops around from the from the i um, from your iPhone. Yeah, from my iPhone. So he'll say stuff. Yeah, and you can make him react to things, and it's it's kind of crazy. Well, just I just enjoy. Everybody seems to enjoy it, which is good because some of it is like that things are annoying. Oh, if we had, if we had, the cat was still alive, it'd drive the cat. And I remember oh, the cat great. actually. The cat would just kind of cat might just be the crap. Apparently, out. according to mother and father, the cat would just bop its head off. Yeah, the sock and boppers. That would be the goal. So, I mean, um, so yeah, BB 8s now in our lives and in our lives. And BB eight next week will be on the podcast. We'll ask him lots of questions. I actually, wanted him to be here. Do you want to go get BB eight, you guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah you mean, guys talk. You guys talk for a little bit. I'm gonna get BB-8. Okay. And I'll, I'll be right back. BB-8. All right, sounds so sounds good, Matt. Okay. So I love, a terrible idea. I love right? visual <laughs> things on a uh, podcast. Right, some good noise. Now it's time for how did this get made? Well, now that Matt's left the room, tell him that I like these. I'm gonna put on these Bose headphones. Put on his headphones. Yeah, yeah. whose yeah. bird is that? It's Russell Wilson's bird. Oh, it's got the little thing on it. Oh, it's, it's kind of it's warm. warm. It's warm from his head. Yeah, Matt uh, gives off got, a lot of heat. It's got head warmth. Yeah, he gives off a lot of heat. You want to put it on? It's got head warmth. Okay, you relax. It's gross. Will is now struggling with the headphones, and Matt's now back in the room and a little upset that Will took the headphones. But you know, over it, over it, over it. There he is. He can, Will got off his. Very uh, confused. <laughs> I'm like Bub from Day of the Dead. All right. Just, if you've ever seen BB-8 in the movie, uh, or I think you talk. Thank you so Sorry. much Joe, while I'm talking. Uh, <laughs> I guess it had to be when someone's talking. Uh, but I remember watching the trailer and being, you know, saying, you know, you're like, there's a BB Boppy droid. Yeah. And I was like, that's got to be CG. And you said, no, it's a practical droid. Which, if you've seen it, it's just a half a ball on top of a whole ball. Atmosphere on top of it. It kind of looks like the. It looks like somebody knocked the bottom off a snowman. Almost. Yeah, or or m- the not middle the middle part, part. The thorax. Now, now the uh, yeah. Now so, it's just the ass the and the snorax. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna boot up the uh, the program here. Boot up the mainframe. So if you, if you, you might not get the full. I mean, you won't get the full um, uh, sense of it, but uh, nah, nah, it's by Sphero, nah, 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 which nah, 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 it's like Sphere with an O on the end instead of a E. Yeah. So it's a nice little. You can't play that song, by the way. And yet we are. <laughs> oh boy! So oh, yeah, the, the, you, it says it's a little Ooh, app you download. Buddy. It makes a little noise. You have to put it near the uh, BB8. Oh, BB8! To come just alive. Turns alive. Oh, he's bleeping and blooping. Oh, here he goes. Oh boy! So I'll put him. In, I'll put him in drive mode here. Yeah. Let's let it perk up a little bit. So he's got. He's got to go off the table. I'll catch him. We got him. We got him. All right, here he is. I'm on board. <laughs> Guys, I got this. You can. So part of the part of the fun of him is that he can make little noises and he can, he can make a little sense. With you. Now I'm gonna see if this is gonna work, and I feel like it might not. But the, you can make him do things like squares and, and figure eights. So let's see if we can do a square without falling off a table. I mean, mm. oh, he's cutting the cords of the microphone. Yep, hitting the microphone stand and then coming on over. How you doing, buddy? Good stuff. Whoa! <laughs> oh boy. He's good. <laughs> Let's see how long. I'm gonna put him on patrol and see make, how long he lasts on the table. He's gonna here. make great air right now. So we're just gonna. He's just gonna be autonomous here. Can somebody give me. Can, can, you guys wanna break down play by play? Will, I want you to do play by play. Ask, can you give color? Give color. Okay. Well, Gene, we talked to BB-8 earlier this week, and he said well, BB-8's that he... little droid just is going around there. He's got to watch where he's going, though. He's got to fall off that table, King. Oh, oh, gee, oh, my, my Oklahoma. Okay, so I did, I did but, Bill yeah. Sims. Oh, he there he goes. Ross, not Clear Jim off Hans, the table. Fuck all that star has got a family, King. Good God. Good God, he killed him. He killed him. That's got my witness is broken one, in half. The one thing I can't really overstate is how much BB-8 seems like a living little... Like, and how unaware BB-8 is of... A face? He don't like you. Look at me. <laughs> he just won't look me in the eye. As I hold him in my hand, his head is... Oh, wow, that's kind of interesting. Right? <laughs> no matter what, his head stays on unless he gets blo- locked yeah, off like and he, goes he doesn't have to do it he doesn't agree well with tables that have. Uh, no, any any edge he doesn't do well. With. He, he better watch like, himself. He doesn't like fall. you two. Well, there it goes again. <laughs> and uh, there, goes, there his goes his head. That's okay. Better watch it. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the body kind of went to the All right. right. There, so this is BB. So that, that's BB. So that was the thing you wanted, and you got. And it. I got it. It was Very one of those cool. things that I, I I talked to my wife about a lot, and I, I saw mad. it in a store recently. Yeah. And I was like, I I want that more than anything else for Christmas, and so she. She labeled the present as being from uh, my brother-in-law, but she had to, had to. She couldn't mention that it was both him and uh, and her. Also, would have figured it out. So we'll just leave BB-8 can just kind of be sleep there. They should uh, have an episode eight. They should have upgraded to BB-8.1 and give him arms and legs. BB-8 <laughs> BB- like, really long S. legs, like B- yeah, BB-8s will be able. You can press BB-8 him more. BB-8s. Uh, yes, BB-8 does. Good for them for that. Yeah, so that's 27. You got a BB-8 toy, uh, all the Toy Story movies, and Inside Out for, uh, <laughs> for Christmas. So. It's a very Disney-fied Christmas. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I am, I am trying to acquire all the, uh, Alex did Inside Out, I, all the Pixar movies I can. Which are, uh, are which right. is easier now. You want cars? This is easy. Cars, no, no. cars? You want planes? You're just not going to count those? I want all of them. I want, planes, I want all of them planes, except for well, I, I would like the good ones, though. Planes, trains, and automobiles. I do want to see planes for Dan Cook's like, hey, I'm a plane. I think I made that joke before on this show. You want to watch plane? What? want to watch planes because Dan Cook's a plane. Right. So we can be like, I'm a plane. I don't think that's your Dan Cook impression. I think, uh, no, it's my Dan Cook has a plane impression. He's, okay. he's doing a voice. That's fair. Yeah. Um, Will, did you get anything for Christmas? No, I got nothing. Yeah, I know we forgot something. I got I got flip so all. Scared. Well, what I did this year, and I asked you guys, I was like, do you guys want me to bring the Wii U? And I was like, yeah, we'll play Mario Kart. So the Wii U is a pretty small system, really, compared to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox yeah. One. It's, it's very mobile. I don't have a carrying case for it, per se. I just took all the bits and packed her up and shh. Shipped him in my luggage across this Canada. Really if you had a carrying case for the me. main controller is almost the size of the system. Yes, yeah. Uh, so I brought it with me, and I asked for uh, Super Smash Brothers Wii U, <laughs> and uh, we ended up uh, getting it. And we, we had some uh, some fun with the Wii U. I've had some fun. You guys seem very frustrated. Oh, Mario Kart sucks. Talk, Alex, Mario Kart. can you talk about Alex? We talked about it. Mario Kart. Just infuriating. What's wrong with Mario? Kart? I hate it. 
I just find that comp- it's very unforgiving compared to other games. So as soon as you run into a wall or miss a turn, you're you're in six and can't seem to get out of it. And some yeah. people just pass. You just can't pass them. Also, make any sense. also we were playing on a hundred CC, so maybe I should bring it down to fifty. What? Yeah, good to make me feel better about myself. You should have twenty five CC. Let's do two hundred. One CC. One CC. Oh, uh, I played. I played two hundred yesterday. It's wild. Yeah, bro, you got to start me on the bunny hill before you just double throw me diamond. down the double black diamond, <laughs> which is two hundred. Two hundred, which I haven't done. Yeah, skiing. So double black diamond. I mean, it just makes me hungry for cheese. You guys ever go skiing? I've never skied before in my entire life. I went skiing in grade seven. seven. Yeah. I got off the bunny hill, I went to the top of the hill, and I started going too fast, so I just kind of went off to the side, and my skis came off, and so I just kind of walked down the hill. <laughs> I went to the lodge. That's what I did. I did the lodge. I like, tried was... snowboarding for like two seconds. I was like, hey, hey. Oh, oh, you oh, tried to snowboard, bad. Bad. didn't you? Yeah. 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 I was like, trying to snowboard, and I was so bored. Snowboard? Don't, yeah, don't do you snowboard. They're like, don't do snowboarding. And so I was like, oh, just do like the... Like, I don't know they're called fat, like the little skis, like that are. Those know, are faster. those are snowshoes. I don't know if they're. Co- no, 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 they're not snowshoes. They're like they're like little tennis nets, and you, you strap them onto your feet. Yeah, and you can go over snow. Yeah. Tennis, tennis nets. nets. <laughs> tennis nets. Yeah. Sorry, exactly. Tennis racket. Uh, but yeah, so I it was a huge fan. We're not. You know what? I can say pretty emphatically, we're not a winter sport family. We did play a sport in the winter um, on Christmas Day. But it was very warm out. It it wasn't, warm. Yeah, well, yeah. It wasn't wintery at all. I yeah. played soccer all year round, so. We can play, uh, we should We should have played yesterday. It would have been fun to dive in the snow. Get a face full Snowball! Snowball. Maybe we did. Maybe, Maybe we, we did. We play yesterday. Perhaps I killed a Jedi and took it from him. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh... What a dark thing to say to a child. Right? That's a Jedi's <laughs> weapon, right? Maybe I, I, think maybe so. I skinned him alive and wore his hat. No one could kill a Jedi. <laughs> Who says that? I wish that were so... That's uh, Anakin talking to <laughs> That's Alec Guinness as a ten year old. Uh, 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 yeah, we had a good uh, good chuck of the ball on Christmas Day. It was another. It was a very mild Christmas Day. Well, but it was well, nice. What well, was very Flacco esque in his delivery? I and yeah, I got a cannon, Threw it at laser, laser rocket arm. I was I was I was throwing throwing bombs. Dad was out there just chucking it. Dad, yeah, it was good. Dad's a lefty. Yeah, it's weird. He's, a, he's a Mike Vick. Mm. Find a better example of a lefty. <laughs> so that's what happened to our dog. Uh, Manzel might be left-handed. That seems like something he. That's would even. Do. That's almost worse. <laughs> Who? I guarantee you, Manzel is not worse than Michael Vick. Well, yeah, no, okay, not worse. Worst player. For show. Sure. Oh, he's a young guy. He's got room to grow. An Aggie like him, he's got opportunity. I figured out Aggie because it's agricultural. Oh, very creative. Yeah. Aggies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh... There's lots, the of, there's lots of universities I want to ask questions about, but... Go ahead. Like Ball I, State. Where is here's, that? Here's the state. What? Ball Why state. is there a Miami University in Ohio? It's the state University of Miami. Name it the river? Yeah, Miami River. That's so confusing. That's, That's where Ben Roethlisberger went to school. Just name it after... I don't know. Something else. It is, it is confusing. Yeah. Um, of Ohio. State. Where's Northwestern? Uh, Illinois, I yeah, thought. I think so. Yeah. I, don't know, I yeah. know that because Wilbon keeps talking about Northwestern. Uh, but boys on PTI. Wilbon, I don't know. Yeah, Will Vaughn on PTI. You guys look alike, too. We do, yeah, we look alike. We support the same teams. We're very similar in all respects. Yeah. We're both sports journalists. You know, sports journalism would be, be fun, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I feel like I hate most of the sports journalists. It's journalists, though. It's Stephen terrible. A. Smith, big fan? Well, no one likes sports journalists. It's like everyone hates the play-by-play guys because they're always really like, against their team. It's funny. I like guys like, uh, what is it? I don't know what to say. Like Mike Reese? The Patriots? Yeah, yeah, Mike Reese. Because he's like, Cause he, I'm fine with, like, be a homer, be my homer, be the guy who's there. He's, and He's also just the Patriots reporter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I like that. You want your guy on the inside. Who do you find are the most egregious uh, commentators in football? Uh, um, Phil Simms is my least favorite color guy. Ah, Dan Fouts is much better. I don't like a lot of color guys. Yeah. Phil color. Sims. Color. Sims. Color Sims. commentators. Um, Considering the book that this microphone is perched on, you really should be careful. Yeah, you know, Simmons, Sims rather. Um, I, there's, there is a you guys like Simmons about things, things he says, and it's just like they just quote him directly. Yeah, and it's pretty special. There's a ish announcer say like little thing oh, yeah. on Reddit that comes out every week. That's pretty funny. Ish announcer says. Say. Like there's one where Jameis Winston was just scrambling on third and nineteen, and John, uh, no, Dick Stockton who was doing play by play. He was like, oh, they fumbled the ball and the Falcons recovered. And Jameis Winston was just still running with the ball and got a first down. You're like, what are you looking at? <laughs> he's not even in the pile. It's like he's watching the TV he's across the, the bar. Yeah. Being like, oh, look at I that. Know. It's like, oh, it's awesome. it's a good game in person, though, because you're watching the game and you see the feed like from CBS to scene ways away and it's a solid five seconds behind the game, oh, yeah. the game feed. 
Yeah, they, just in case but you know, I don't they have a wardrobe who's malfunction your least on the field. <laughs> play by play guy. Honestly, I like Al Michaels and Chris. Uh, honestly, I like, I like them. Okay, too. honestly, I like none of them. Aikman. Uh, yeah, I like Al Michaels. Baltimore. I like a, his very strong New York accent comes through. The there's Baltimore nobody. There's really Baltimore. nobody I dislike. Um, Tony Saragusa just got the weirdest job. I just love Goose. He's just the third guy, but he's not in the booth. He just stands on the field. He's like the Pierre Maguire between the benches. Yeah. N- neither one of those people there. Pierre Maguire or Ray Ferraro. Yeah, horrible. Ray Ferraro, I feel bad for because I feel like he's got the chops to be up. This it's cute that his kid plays box. for. Uh, who's he his kid interviewed for? his kid. Yeah. Land- Landon? Landon? Yeah, Landon. Detroit for our game. He got waved by Detroit and picked up by Boston. Boston. And then yeah. he got to interview him. It was actually kind of cute because I was like, I was watching, I watched a clip of him interviewing his son, and I was kind of like, they just actually don't know each other, but I think at the end he like how him and said good job or something like that. I don't like. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Canucks uh, commentators for Sportsnet, uh, John Shorthouse and John Garrett. Oh, uh, there was someone. About John Bosch, Garrett was Bosch, like a that, Jason you know, Botchford. Oh, that guy's that guy's awful. Dope. The the guy. I don't think a, a lot dope. of hockey commentators. You say a, a dope? Good. Yeah, that's a great word. What a dope! Because what's his face? He, that's a very dad that word too. Eight year old guy. Oh! Oh my gosh, Bob! Um, Bob. Oh, and oh yes, yes, the noof, the noof. Trust me, that's a good. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know, Bob something. People, really the people nice. are people on. revere him, and I hate it. People yeah. revere him in a nice way. Bob Cole. Bob Cole. Bob Cole. So remember when you do Bob, Bob Cole and Harry worst. Neal was like the combo? Yeah. The two noofs yeah. commentating. He's got oaks from Newfoundland. I think they'll die in the booth. What do you guys think? So he's still going. He's still going, yeah. Yeah, he's still, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, he's still going. Take a load. Does he owe people money? Like, just retire. Does he owe people oh, money? A, I'm no, a he, bad gambler. He only gets picked up from his house in Newfoundland and flies to usually Toronto every Saturday night for the, the hockey game. He does not no. live in Newfoundland full time. Does he really? I'm, f- I'm fairly certain oh, he does. Oh. The yeah, well, I guess he's retired. One you know, time. But he usually, actually usually goes week. to Montreal now. Right. Because they're just way better and they do have a chance to win Pick a cup this year. a steak sandwich. I went to the airport. A chance. Every, every team has a chance. Gets, price gets healthy. I haven't watched a single second of hockey. Well, until uh, watching the World Junior game right. on Box Day, I hadn't watched a single second of hockey all year because I was away when hockey started. And it turns out I don't miss hockey at all. So, Is playoffs the- made. Playoffs! I'll watch it. But other than that, you want to talk about playoffs? If the juniors were in, if the junior team was in like the medal round, sure. I'll watch that. I'll watch the round robin. I like, I like get countries. The you know, World Championship stuff. last year was fun. Cause, um, so what's this thing coming to Toronto in 2016? The World Cup of, uh, Cup of Joe? World Cup of Joe. Yeah, it's World, World Cup. Cup. When's that? It's in September. It's a phone ring, by okay. the way. Our parents have a house phone because they're our parents. I uh, love that when I'm ordering anything online. So, Here's your cell phone. What's your house phone? It's like, mm, come on. Like you're serious? 2015? One. Serious guy? Just text me. Text me. When I you're actually here. mentioned recently to one of my phone, parents. Eh? I was like, hey, uh... <laughs> Do you, guys, do you guys even need a house phone? And they're like, yes. I was like, all right, not pushing that point. Can you get one that doesn't announce who's calling every 12 seconds? Call, fam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here. Here. You can, there. most phones don't yeah. announce who's calling. Ugh. The worst. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it is, the, um, Talk the phone, phones, I wish the phone was for one of us when we just answered it on the That'd on the be air. great. Put him on speakerphone. Uh, call, you're on the air. Really That's bad. Oh, thank you. Your bad fantasy etiquette is now finding its way into real life. A bad fantasy like, yet? Like oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like her. Terrible commercial. Uh, I, uh, I still like hockey. It's. Oh, yeah, we're talking about hockey. Yeah. I, it's just. Football is a you guys just really love, easy You guys to just love. are freaking obsessed with football. That's all it's it is. It's really easy to love. Football's, yeah. The, the, well, what I, are you guys watching February? February after the. Uh, at the Super Bowl? No. Pro Bowl? Netflix and shit. This is like, it's weird for Watch about the Pro a Bowl month. on repeat? It's weird for a month because you don't Netflix know what to do with your show. Sundays. And then you take up hiking. <laughs> Pick that's up what Yeah, that's right. Just go take Hacking. a hike. Just go take a hike. Yeah, take a hike. Hacking. Yeah, just go take a hike. Well, that's good. It's good. For, yeah. yeah. I like football because it's just one day a week, except it's three. And uh, <laughs> now it's like sometimes four, like this now week. Now it's four, like this uh, week. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's an easy, football. easy sport to be a fan. Of. Ah, they make ah. it so easy. I like. I mean, you can also just this time of year. Turn on TV. There's a bowl game on. Oh, who is it? It's uh, Boise versus Navajo State. You're yeah. You're in the bowl 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 bowl, 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 bowl yeah, game yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Who won the pinstripe bowl anyway? You're Duke did. Duke Tim did. Cook tweeted about it on Sunday morning. Oh, Tim Cook. Yeah, is Why? he a Duke alum? Duke, big Duke fan. Tim Cook is he alum? He's from Auburn. He went no, to Auburn. no, but he also he the likes Do- No, I think he likes both. You can he also made a man about which, Tim he Cook. He might have gone to both too. He probably has a Masters. He's supposed to get your Masters. Then you get your master's, master's. Then you get your doctorate. 
<laughs> college Dropout. It's a skit from the College Dropout album. That's what they call rap albums. They have random skits in them. You don't know what's going on. After three interviews. Oh my god. Oh my god. god. <laughs> you come in at an entry level position. Boy, is that great. <laughs> She's actually the boss's niece, so now you're part of the family. <clears throat> Okay, I don't know. I, you know, yep, I like yep, the College yep, Dropout. It's a good album. Check it out. It's a good Call album. Kanye West 2004. Before he got I'm crazy. I'm going to finish. Before it came around. It's not before he got crazy, insane. but it was when it was a little bit more understated. It's before he thought he was Yeezus. What do you mean thought? Um, thought. <laughs> believed. What are you questioning? About he that? believed he Oh, was well, you're wa- rocking the waffle print. Interesting. Um, I suppose, I suppose, uh, if, as far as interesting goes. Because it used to be considered yeah, a, uh, that's, that's not a good, that's not a good be a pajama fabric. fabric. It's not fashionable. What, the waffle? Just the t-shirt, t-shirt over thing. the long sleeve I was thinking shirt. that when I was putting t-shirts it on. T-shirts also that's a little right. bit, I like t-shirt over the long sleeve sometimes, but the, sh- the shirt's also kind of like a, too, too like an off-white color. kind yeah. of thing. It's like a gray, I think, I just think it's. So what, I don't know what this band is. The, it's a the band wearing a band shirt for all our, our listeners. So it's a doom metal band from Austin, Texas. So what's, a, what's the difference between doom metal and regular metal? Uh, doom metal is more like a Sabbath kind of heavy, sludgier oh. kind of sound. So it's heavier, sludgier metal music. So it's more metal. Yeah, I mean like... Mm-hmm. How's it different from death metal? metal is it well, death metal is called metal metal because metal is harder than rock? Uh, I think that, that might be it. I think so. I think it might be it. Uh, death metal is like a lot of uh, either guttural, nonsensical mm. screaming, or or just yeah. Nothing drives me more annoyed than to listen to drums during metal because it's just it's just constant. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> listen to Slayer's drummer. He's incredible. No, I hate it. He's incredibly fast. Uh, but that's more of a, a thrashy kind of metal. That's thrash metal. See all these, all these swords. Swords are very. Uh, they're a little a uh, little more mellow. And they're kind of like Jasmine Indigo Funk metal. Uh, yes, yeah, Indigo, and there's the Johto League, and there's the Kanto League. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you gotta have your ice Pokemon, or else you're just gonna be on. Oh, I was like, this is all over my head. <laughs> I knew something. Yeah. Pokemon I feel like, I feel like that went off the wagon, and they were like, and Dragon Pokemon. Like, there's everything a lot of things in our childhood that just kind of, like, overlap, like, just kind of went over me. Like, Pokemon and, and the James Bond movies and stuff like that. You they went over you? Into the night. Yeah, I was never into that stuff, and you guys were, were, were more into it than I was. On the day I watched uh, Episode 7 for the first time, I had 1983 days, so I watched Octopussy and then Return of the Jedi, and then I went to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> just because I wanted to finish it. Octopussy is, I don't think it's a very good movie. Uh, I don't think you like a, a lot of the Roger Moore's, title. though. No, I don't. I feel bad thinking about it now, because I think about it, I'm like, oh, I don't like Octopussy. Octopussy or, was the lady's or, dad's or nickname for, for her, which yeah, is a exactly. weird nickname. Yeah, it's like, well, why do you really name that movie? They should call it Indian Guy Who Can Crush Golf Balls With His Hands. Yes. No, we, not golf balls. It was uh, Dice. Dice. Yeah. He oh, had, sorry. I forgot. Him. I'm confused with Odd Job, the character he rips off from earlier in the series. Yeah. Is his name, what is his name, Govinda? Yeah, something like that. I hit the movie, I know everything about Just it. a huge, well, yeah, of course, because James Bond goes to an island full of only women. And uh, that's who the lady... I feel like that's, that's every island for him anyway. The other men just kind of flitter away. The end of it's great when James Bond comes on a hot air balloon and cues there. And, oh, it's is, that the where, is that one where he runs to a circus dressed as a clown and stops a nuclear bomb from being detonated? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, General, the bomb's about to go off. Somehow, I didn't make that up. There's a movie where James Bond dressed up as a clown, goes to a circus and... Dig- yeah, the Roger Moore one's just... Uh, They're yeah, very silly. took a... The, he, this, this, and, and yes, this is, the one, perfect, though. this is the one where he swings from uh, Moore? swings on a vine and hollers like Tarzan twice. Oh my gosh! Beauty and Kill Roger Moore is fifty-seven. He's older than the mother <laughs> of the woman he's supposed to be the father. Of. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. He's older than. That's the uh, one that's not in my Roger Moore collection. I only have six movies, and that's the one that's you not. Don't in have Beauty and Kill. That's the one that's not Kill, in it. Like, yeah, so he's clearly fifty-seven. He could not be more almost sixty. Do you mind? Is that him now? Yeah, do you That's mind? Him. Somehow, Roger Moore is still uh, still going. I might be almost. I have my first. Um, was um, he in Spice World? Yes. yes. Okay. He's got a pig. <laughs> a little pig. I love how I know that. Is Roger Moore, the one in Spice World. Alan Cummings in Spice with, World too. Uh, is he Caroline wolf in that? Marge all the time. I was just anything for those girls. For those girls. Yeah, he's fifty-seven. The, the, he was then. He's much older. Now. He's much older. Yeah, he's um, he's, he's knighted, isn't he? 
He's Sir Roger. Uh, I don't he's know. a knight of the realm. When, when would Fear of You to Kill came out? Would have been 1985. 85. And he was 57? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why <laughs> do they not like... 89 <laughs> years old? How, no, how old is he? he looks, I just know he looks Is he awful older now. than Sean Connery? Yeah, he was older when he started. What the Sean heck? Connery made... Yeah, five or six. Yeah, five or... I don't have my phone on me for reasons I can't explain. Look up how old no, Reservoir is right No, gold from old. Russia. Yeah, Thunderball. Di- Thunderball. Only lived twice. Only lived Dimes twice. Forever. Diamonds, six. Okay, so it is six. six. Yeah, sorry, Sean. So you have five in a row Dimes and then came the back sky, for Diamonds, bad. right? Yeah. Because... Yeah. yeah. Because they like, do five in a row because Lazenby came for Because they were like, hey, Yeah, five in a row and then Lazenby and then Well, I think he had a contract for five oh, and then he was like, I want a million dollars. So they were like, no. And then they, Lazenby did his thing and they didn't have one anymore. And they're like, hey, would you like to do it for a million dollars? Hey, George like, Lazenby story yes. to me is psychotic. It's yeah. incredible to me that this guy just dressed up nice, yeah. went in the office and be like, I hear you're looking for another James Bond. I can be the guy. And they're like, oh, really? And they test him out for like four months. And they're like, oh, okay. And he's like, I wasn't an actor. I was a model. And just pulled the wool over their eyes for that long. And then when the movie comes out, he doesn't. He wants to have a beard on the red carpet. And they're like, no, you're James Bond. You can't have that. Who's he running with at the time? Is it George Harrison? It might have been. I think it was. Yeah, he's running. There's with- two things that are wrong with that. He got okay. He got way, way, way into himself, which yeah. I guess is tough when you kind of make yourself James Bond. They also should have just gotten over the fact that he had a beard. It was 1969. Yeah, it's like, not crazy to have a beard. That's beard central. Yeah. Yes, yeah. But everywhere, the, everywhere, everywhere was time purple. now. Tom Cruise. Now Tom, you do. Yeah. Tom who? Hardy? No, Tom Hanks was, I think, when he was shooting Castaway, he was like, you know, uh, on talk shows, like promoting another movie. Like, what's, you know, everyone's always on talk shows. Like, we get the big beard. Oh, Dan Radcliffe's got his head shaved right, right now. Yeah, not a good look for him. Well, he's playing a white supremacist. It's it's not sure. Yeah, in a movie. White supremacist. No, he's actually... No, no, no. He's playing a guy who goes undercover with white supremacists. So he's like, to fit in, he shaves his head. Is that based on a Rolling Stone story? I it think so. Be. He talked about it on America. Because I heard that and I was like, I was like oh, that actually sounds like something. something he's a smoker. Story. He's smoking on that marriage. He was he's smoking. Like, he's like, it's just nice to be on a show back and smoke. I'm like, oh, damn. Is it a good... Is that a good listening? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I thought it was fascinating. Okay. He Reckless talks about Mark Potter Mary. and he's like, no, they're fine. That's great. You know, he's... That's so healthy. Baron's a little so bit surprised by how... Not surprised, but, you know, he's, he's very well adjusted. Uh, he's really well adjusted. He had a drinking problem for a year or two, and he's yeah, just like... Yeah, that's what you do. Have a drinking stuff. problem when you're 20, <laughs> and then be done. Who else did? Hard, Hardwick did, and Mulaney did. I like how Mulaney described himself. He's like, I know I don't look like a guy who was an alcoholic. Look, I've been eating saltines in a basement for 10 years. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> but, yeah, they, they, they get over thing, it. Like in the new... Special ways, like, and some people think you're into balls. It's true! And you're like, oh well, yeah, that's why, because of what you just said. He's a little, uh... He's not the most masculine person in the world. No, he's, but he's a funny person, that's his a, job, so that's what matters. Person. He wasn't in that movie, though, Funny People. No, he was, it was before he, he, he came up. Do you guys know anybody? Yeah, no, man. I'll just look at bro. Do you guys know anybody who's recovered? It's a weird question. Uh, Anybody's a recovery? No. Alcoholic? Yeah. I know people who... Not, not, no one my like, age. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the only thing I ever get from friends is I'm never gonna drink again. It's just like yeah, you're just really hung over. I feel like your friends are currently in that alcoholic stage. Uh, what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, no, 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 no. They're not recovering something. alcoholics. Just currently uh, st- suffering alcoholics. Alcoholism is something that's funny when you're a kid, and then when you grow up, and you're like, oh, it's very real, and a lot of people yeah, have it. Alcohol is not, not an alcohol. and it's terrible. It's not funny at all. Yeah. You're like, oh, geez. But when you're a kid, you're like, ah, he's drunk. That's funny. Yeah, I've never known anyone to have a, a drinking problem and then have to do anything about it. Well, that's, well, that's good. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I asked that question. Stay away from the topic. demon drink. Yeah, you're just gonna like start naming people. Well, my friend Tim, he was an alcoholic. He's recovering now. No, Tim's doing fine. He's... Not Tim. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> a name. I was not... decided to use a common name that happens to be somebody that we all know. I know. Okay, I my know friend Tim's. We talked about Hagrid. Tim. Hagrid. Tim. Coke. Spider. Spider. <laughs> Hagrid. No, Hagrid. You can't talk about Hagrid. Uh, Our friend Hagrid. Stop Hag- names. Hagrid's a. Uh, Cowboys fan. He's got a Hungarian horn tail. Oddly enough, I was watching the new, the new, the old Captain America, the original Captain America, first Avenger on yeah. the weekend, yeah. and really? I forgot that he can't get drunk. It was just uh, on. No, he can't. Some, his liver, some Marvel his liver recovers. Oh, showcase his metabolism is four times faster, so yeah. he can't get drunk. Man, those Captain America movies have really done well. Civil War's going to be good. 
I'm looking forward well, to that. I, I that's part I've mentioned before that Winter Soldier is my favorite uh, Marvel movie. When we movie. saw that trailer, the hell, that part at the end of the trailer was just like, yeah, you know, he's my friend, Tony. So, so was I. I. And like they're all they're Sometimes both beaten down on Iron Man. They just throw the shield back oh, and but forth. How, how bad is that Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice trailer? Because I saw the... i got to show you guys the recut one. But I the will recut say it one wasn't puts, as bad as I thought it was. The recut yeah, one Because I was watching it in theaters and playing before Star Wars the first time I saw it. And I was like, eh, it's not as bad as I thought made it out to be. That's not good. I hate Lex Luthor in it. Yeah. Do you, know who, make a fight with do you know who he, he patterned himself off? From what I heard in an interview, you like this even more? He patterned himself off Max Landis. Because he did American... Uh, that's a good... Look at that. Look at those eyelids. He did American... Uh, Hustle? Ultra. No. All, ultra. Did American Ultra, and he's like, oh, I'll make uh, Lex Luthor like Max Landis. Like the director, John Landis' son? The writer. Who does that, uh, why wrestling's the best Wrestling's thing. not wrestling, yeah. Yeah. I actually unfollowed the guy because he went off on Star Wars. I'm like, eh, He did go off on Star Wars, and he... And it, <laughs> Do you guys know what a Mary Sue is? I've never heard of a Mary Sue until now. Yeah, or, or I, I, I've heard of it. I have heard of it. You've heard of a Mary Sue. So, so I, I'm not so up, up on my... Yeah. yeah. The reason yeah. this is coming up is because... Uh, in response to Star Wars, some people were declaring the character of Rey as, quote, a Mary Sue. And so the, the idea is from, typically from fan fiction, which already you're in, you're in the weeds a little bit there, because what are you doing even discussing fan fiction? It's, uh, ir- it's irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but even even for an author, so it's, pre- it's supposed to be a character who's overpowered and is clearly just like the favor of an author and does things and is too strong and too good. And Do so people think Katniss is a Mary Sue? Is there, no, because really? I think Katniss is... I think it's pretty obvious well, she's in Hunger over Games her head is from, the time. Hunger Games is from her perspective. Written from her perspective. Yeah, so okay. you almost can't, she can't be because she you have to kind of be... The, uh, Mary Sue has to be a little bit outside of the... So it's not omniscient? Wait, what? Oh, so bad. She's an omniscient head. narrator. No, omniscient narrator. So something like if, if you just wrote a Harry Potter fan fiction... This is an easy example. And, and you were like, and then Derek shows up, and Ron and Hermione love Derek, and so did Harry, but somehow he was better than Hermione at studying, and faster than Harry, and funnier than Ron. And, and more ginger than they Ron. They couldn't get over it, and they were like, you're the best Hufflepuff I ever met. And, and, then, and then Voldemort and parents showed up. A, have a dragon empire. <laughs> He's a, so, so, the, uh, so people I were saying that, yeah. that Ray was a Mary Sue because they thought she was... Because J.J. Abrams was like, and then Ray showed up. And then like, Ray shows like, up. So, I, don't, like, I don't really get she's it. she got They're just like, oh, she's overpowered. It's like, you, again, you don't know anything about these people. You don't. You don't know anything about the these people. The idea is... She has the short. She has a very particular set of skills. Yeah. The point is that she finds out she's got the ultimate power in the universe, basically. You does know? she? That's still not possible. I guess hey, Darth Vader movie. says the ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't frighten us with your he's, sorcery. He's ways, being a Lord bit. He's, trying to, he's talking up Jedi a bit. Yes, he, well, he is, yeah. Your sad devotion to that ancient religion. By the way, that guy is in Octopus. He's one of the generals. He's what? like, oh, I'm sure the end of this is going to be a blast, general. And there's a bomb in there. Oh yeah. Gosh. Oh, my God, it's so well written. Lord Vader. Just, he's such he's such a sniffling jerk in uh, that he's movie. Great. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. He really it's does enunciate like none oh, of that. Oh, it's fantastic. This uh, very good diction. Is there anything I like? All the words. <laughs> Overpronounce all the words. But again, uh, with the with the Max Landis thing, I remember somebody was like, uh, yeah, I'm going to listen to Star Wars criticism from the guy who wrote two of the year's absolute biggest flops, which is American Ultra and Victor and Frankenstein. Victor, Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. I remember, one of his responses, I, I saw one of his responses on Twitter to that was, but have you seen American Ultra? It's a good movie. <laughs> his, his Max Landis was just like, oh, you should see American Ultra. It's good. Which is his movie, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, I mean I'm just like not. Chronicle? Yes, okay. Chronicle. Uh, That's what he wrote. That's kind of he wrote Chronicle. Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. If you say so. He also had a really weird idea for Fantastic Four. Um, what? Where, uh, it's guy, very hard to didn't explain. Did Fantastic Four lose the director? And was it Trank. not him? Uh, it was, it was the, the director. It was the director. They Chronicle. were like talking to. Yes, uh, it was Josh Trank, the director. Yeah, of Chronicle. and then he yeah. left and didn't get at it, and then he said he had a good movie in there. And, it, and Josh, and Josh Trank was like. like how could there be a good movie? He was, atta- well, he was attached to a Star Wars, too, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He was attached to a Star uh, Wars. Yeah, Trek was going to do... Uh, eight or nine? Uh, was he gonna do- no, 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 no. No? Was, was, he he gonna do Rogue- was he going to do Rogue or... I think he was going to do Rogue One. And they were like, mm, I'm going to give it to the guy who did Godzilla. Uh, it, it's, the Max Land is Fantastic Four ideas is too weird to explain, but it sounds like it would be better than the movie, but I wanted to watch the movie on the plane, but it wasn't on the plane. I have such a morbid fascination with watching... The Terrible. Fantastic Four movie that came out this year. Just that specific movie. Because I need to know how it's so bad. 
Apparently, it's boring as anything. It's got a cast. Got an MBJ in it. Yeah, but I, you know, give me, give me Creed, Modell Beckham Jr. Give me Creed, give me Five, give me Michael B. Jordan. That which I desire. Women be shopping. Michael B. Jordan. So yeah, like with Star Wars, and, and now I'm, I'm going to start to do this, and I'm going to like read less reviews of stuff because yeah, people get their own certain. thing in their head, and they see it that way, and they can't see it any other way, and you see it your own way, and there's no point in really. You can go your own way. Yeah, you can call way. it under. What is this? You can call it another lonely day. Yeah, I think. Uh, but I'm like, criticism Chris, is useful to the extent that you want to use it. Strangers, yeah, but I'm like, it, I do I care about like someone's opinion, like a stranger's opinion on the internet? Like, I care about your guys' opinion on stuff because we talk about opinions all the time. Yeah, and that's the idea uh, of the show. Triple that podcast coming at you. But it's good to get, I, I'd say, an overarching like a Rotten Tomatoes where a movie has say a twenty percent versus an eighty percent. That's always good. And Except I think Hot Max Rod has Land has brought that up too. Yes, and he was like, he was like, ah, oh, like, and and I think it's wrong. And I used to think this. They're like, well, Rotten Tomatoes is like. 95% of people liking it can mean that everybody thinks it's okay. Yeah. It's so, like, but not really, because if you convert, like, the 95% to, like, percent that you think it's amazing, like, that means 95% of people think it's amazing and 5% don't. Like, I don't yeah. I'm not going to really articulate that as good as I want to. No, I'm I know thinking more like yeah, weather forecasting, where it's you like... You have a 95%, yeah. but then the average rating be 6.5 out of 10. Yeah. But that's still considered free. Still yeah, I think, I mean, the plus. fact of the matter is, a good movie... And like if a movie's great, then 95% of people Christmas will agree with it. That's what we're getting at. I gotta finish this book. I'm so bad at it. Which? Roger his life? Yeah, he, he's just, uh, I think he's in like Catholic school right now or something. Oh boy, you should probably I speed up your <laughs> I think he's I think he's fully five and a half years old. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna bring it with me actually, but I thought I was gonna get another I was book. in Madrid and I stopped at a steak and shake because he talked about it all he the time. He did, yeah. And I had him and it was really good. Yeah, so, I was in like, Madrid. I was like, this is weird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he uh, he talked about all the steak and shakes. I find Irish home. pubs in uh, Quebec all, all, odd. Irish pubs in Quebec because it's like two cultures and neither one are mine. Yeah, well, there's yeah. Irish pubs in Madrid. That's the only place I could watch NFL football and where I go, like Prague, and be like that. I watch the Patriots play the Cowboys in Prague. They don't keep it open until the game's over. They're just like, yeah, it's third quarter, like whatever. We just had it on. But yeah, the <laughs> Irish bars are the only ones where you can get NFL football. So we went to the Dirty Nellies on uh, on Saturday, and uh, it was with my friend Matt. Uh, not the oh, guy on the podcast. No, you're not my friend. They went to and uh, <laughs> I, that's that's stiff. Uh, but there's an open mic, not open mic. It was a you know live music, and me and Matt were kind of like betting on what songs he was going to play. I figured he'd play a Pearl Jam, but I didn't articulate that. But he did play a Pearl Jam. It was a request. What Pearl Jam? Uh, Jeremy, and he played John Cougar, Melon Camp. Oh wow! Just I think he played know. Little Pink Houses. Man, that's what it sounds like. Usually, it's just like Journey and. Mr. Jones. No, the oh, the, Mr. Jones and Brown Eyed Girl. Did you play both those? Well, no, I'm, I'm, okay. that's that's the I like band. Brown Eyed Girl, though. That's the but band. Oh the my House. God, Mr. Jones has the weirdest lyrics. At, like oh, I very try, I can't, I can't sing along to it at all. Down at the New Amsterdam. What's the one on six? You're like, what are you talking about? Yeah, like I read the lyrics once and I was like, what is happening? All I know about the lead singer, Cat and Crows, that he got fat and then he got uh, lost a bunch of weight. It was good. I was, yeah, I was happy for him. Did Courtney Cox back in the day? He got fat and then grew fit again. But I remember I told my buddy Tom, I was like, man, look, look at the lyrics of this song, Mr. Jones. And uh, like, there was the weirdest thing. He's like, oh, yeah. And then three months later, he's like, hey, everyone, look at the lyrics of Mr. Jones. They're really weird. It's like, like yeah, hey. Do that. Huh. He's like, oh, huh? one of my bands. Huh. Like, he's in a band in, up in Nineveh, the hottest band in Nineveh, also the only band. Um, but they're playing it. Let's get a band. Matt plays oh, guitar. Matt should play guitar on the show. You have it here, right, Matt? Go, I come do. On. I actually, do you guys, like, I actually have, I wrote a theme song for the podcast. <laughs> I want to. Uh, yeah. I should play for you guys. Sometime. It's just gonna be Matt. Matt. <laughs> Matt is here. Matt. It's great. Matt, and he's Matt, the only Matt, one here. Matt, 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 uh, well, uh, guys, this was fun. It was fun. He was says, it? ironically. Uh, was it? Thanks, uh, everyone, for listening to the show. You can find me on Twitter, William C. Vaughn. You're pointing at me. I don't know why. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, what was that? Uh, you, when you, when you, do you want me to speak when you point? <laughs> when I point to you, yes. Moneyball. Uh, yeah, 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 it's Moneyball. Moneyball. I am on Twitter, at Yvonne, it's E-V-U-J-H-N, I-C-S. BB-8 is on Instagram. Wow, wow, wow. He's on, no, I've seen so many Instagram videos of BB-8, because I'm, sh- I'm assuming a lot of people got him for Christmas. Yeah. Have him zipping and booping around. Yeah. Matt, you're on Twitter, at I'm an MP Vaughn on Twitter. So, BB-8's going to take us out this week. 
If we can even, anyone can hear the sound. Oh, sound. Jesus. We should do a live record of us playing Mario Kart, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cursing Triple the X time. rated what explicit. The? Frickin' Bowser. No, because that'd be hilarious to hear you. cursing like Joe Pesci. Yeah. And... <laughs> My father let a stream of curse words out that, as far as we know, was still hanging in the cloud. Somewhere. Boom, 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 I hate when you do that because it just clashes with the actual music. I know. Guys, it's been a slice. It's been one week since you looked at me. Bye. Bye.